Hello and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. In this video, we're going to be assembling this World War One and World War Two French cannon. Um, so, go ahead. And it was also used by many nations, I believe. So take your clippers, the, that's the first step, and cut like that. And then, cut like this, right there. So that's the first step of this kit. Just take and cut like that. That's how that should be looking. Um, go ahead and cut like that. And then you can just take this whole piece and kind of peel it off like this. So you see how that worked? That is good. Then clean up the sprue mark right there. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and cut this piece. Clean the sprue mark. All right, so put that little piece aside. And while we're at working with the tiny, tiny pieces, go ahead and take and cut a piece and that piece. There you go. That piece is good. And of course, cutting these screws off the wheels. There you go. Um, and then another thing that you want to do is take and cut this plastic support off the gun, under the gun there. All right, so we're collecting our pieces of plastic here. All right, so then just keep on cutting away this plastic like this. Then this, this plastic underneath here, you can just cut away at all of that. And this is where these sprue cutters come in handy. Hobby clippers can cut away at this stuff pretty well. And when you cut stuff like this, may I recommend that you wear glasses. Sometimes when you're cutting away these little plastic pieces, little plastic bits can fly here and there. And just careful when you're holding this model, fragile parts. All right, so we are almost done. Take and cut away these there. There you go. And like this. All right, so that's looking good. Now you can see all of this little plastic. Move that off to the side to throw out. So we're done the cutting away process, so now let's start the gluing process. Just take some of your glue and then glue on the under part of this gun here. So, yeah. You see how that worked. That's working well. Up next, of course, is to then take some glue, put it on this axle piece here, then go ahead and put this wheel like that, making sure that the axle piece is going in the middle of the wheel. Yeah. So there's that, and of course now let's do the other side. Making sure that this axle piece goes in the middle of the wheel like that. And then placing on the table to see 
if those wheels are going down in the correct position. Uh, the next step, a fairly simple step, just take some glue right there. Just go ahead and put this little, this handle, oh, it's a small piece. Of course, tweezers might help for small pieces like this. Or not, so let's see. All right, so that's how that went in pretty good. So set this whole thing aside and then take and just put a bit of glue right there and right there. Put that there. Now this is going to be the tiny pieces. So be careful with this process. All right, so once once you have those pieces in a good position, make sure that they're in a good, great spot like that. Um, I recommend you let that off to the side and just let that glue dry for a bit. All right, so for the uh, final assembly part of this cannon, just take this gun and slide it in there. And then, whoops, pay attention to this little piece that we glued there. There you go. Uh, all right, so that's how the cannon should look. Um, you can decide if you wish to glue, glue it in place, or if you wish to leave it not glued so you can move it just a bit. Well, there's that. Thank you. This and many other items are available at miniaturetanks.com. Thank you so much for watching.